My speech is on my phone, so I'm not being rude, but I have to uh, read it because um, I don't even know what to say. Um, let's see. So throughout my career, when I have received, um, when I've been rejected, there was sometimes subtext, right? And it was this. People will not read your work because these are not universal stories. I don't know whether some doorkeepers felt this way because I wrote about poor people or because I wrote about black people or because I wrote about Southerners. As my career progressed and as I, you know, I got some affirmations, I still encountered that mindset every now and again. I still find myself having uncomfortable conversations with reluctant readers who initially didn't want to read my work because they said, what do I have in common with a pregnant 15-year-old? They said, why should I read about a 13-year-old poor black boy or his neglectful drug-addicted mother? What do they have to say to me? And you, my fellow writers and editors and publishing people and National Book Foundation folks who read my work, you answered plenty. You looked at me, at the people I love and write about. You looked at my poor, my black, my southern children, women and men, and you saw yourself. You saw your grief, your love, your losses, your regrets, your joy, your hope. And I am deeply grateful to each and every one of you who reads my work and finds something that sings to you, that moves you in it. I hope to continue this conversation with you for all of our days. For Scribner, especially Nan Graham, Susan Muldow, Rose LaPelle, Liz Pearl, Carolyn Reedy, Kate Lloyd, Rosie Mahorder, Sally Howe, and everyone at Simon & Schuster who believed in this book and helped birth it. For my home state booksellers, Passbooks, Squarebooks, Lemuria, Turnrow, and all the independent bookstores. <laughs> and not so independents like Amazon and Barnes & Noble that help my words find readers. For Tulane University, which understands and encourages my need to write. For the National Book Foundation, especially Lisa Lucas and David Steinberger and all the judges and all the committees, um, all of you who honor me so greatly. For my friends who are writers who read my horrible early drafts. Um, for my agent, Jennifer Lyons, who loved my work from the beginning. For everyone at Agate and Bloomsbury who first ushered my work into the world. And finally, for my editor and dear friend, Kathy Belden. who makes me a better writer and a human being. For all of you, I am forever grateful. My beautiful mother, Noreen, is with me tonight. I give thanks for your love, your ferocity, your work. So many people who I love are not in this building body, but are here in spirit. My children, my siblings, my family and friends in DeLille, Mississippi and California. Hey, Daddy-o. I want to close by telling them and you this. Thank you for loving me, for supporting me, for encouraging me to be exactly who I am, and for letting me reimagine and amplify your lives and voices. I love you with everything in me. Thank you.